Good morning. Lovely morning, isn't it? Is it? Thank you for helping out. It's much appreciated. Don't be daft. It's the least I can do. I wish Stephanie felt the same. So what time did you get in, then? Oh, late, I think. Well, I know that. I didn't get to bed myself till after 12. Stay in the pub, did you? Uh, Shelley, a pot of tea for table three, please, when you've got a moment. On its way. What's she doing? Helping your dad. I don't believe you. He's still not well, you know. Not well? He'll outlive the pair of us. God, blimey, Shelley. You always were a soft touch. Morning. Morning. You are beautiful. <laughs> Not bad, Rodders. Not bad at all. All of me. Oh, hiya. <laughs> you all set? Yep. Yeah, well, I will be as soon as I find my car keys. Is there something you want to tell me? What's that? Well, since when did you start wearing women's scarves? Ah, oh, no, no, no. That's not mine. That's, uh, Shelley's. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she came round for a nightcap last night. That's all. And? And what? And did you, you know? A gentleman never tells, Danny boy. Ah, there they are. I will tell you this, though. She's in the little black book. <laughs> nice one, Rodders. Nice one. Come on. How are you feeling? Terrible. I'll take it this is about last night. Well, of course it's about last night. What sort of daft question is that? At any rate, I'm not in the mood for a post-mortem. <laughs> look, what, what you need is, is a strategy, pure and simple. Look, look, just stop there, will you? May I remind you that I wouldn't even be in this mess if it weren't for you. So, do us a favour, no more advice. Sorry if you feel like that. There you go. I thought he'd be having his breakfast in bed this morning. <laughs> Very funny. So what are you going to do? Well, the only thing I can do, if I want to hang on to a bit of self-respect so I've got left, and that's to get the whole thing, and I'd appreciate it if you'd do the same. It's your life. It's a shame, though. I have no idea what I'm going to say to Pearl. Well, I don't know why you're sitting there worrying about it. <laughs> I think that smacker said it all. <laughs> I'm going to get off. Where are you going? To a car auction in Hotton. Well, how are you getting there? Bus. I'll give you a lift if you want. <laughs> Donna, you know the rules. You can listen to Justin Timberlake and I do not travel by scooter. No, I thought you were working. Hiya. What are you doing? How do you feel about Hotton? Could do. That's what we're waiting for. Uh, hang on a minute. What if I want to come? Donna, it's a car auction, not a fashion show. Well, anything's better than serving in the shop. All right. Hold it up, then. I'll just go tell my mum. A car auction. You are joking. <sighs> oh, your dad wouldn't chuck us out. He's far too nice. You've got no idea, have you? My dad is money mad. Always was, always will be. He's the sort of nipper current in two. Hm? Speak of the devil. Uh, could I have a word? Um, can't it wait? Only we're busy trying to make a living, you know, hard as it is in this miserable dump. Good. As may I remind you, I still haven't been paid for the hairdressing equipment. See what I mean? What did I tell you? Money mad. Anyway, I was just wondering if one of you could be around this afternoon. After a favour, are you? Are you all right? Yes, yes, I, I'm fine, just a bit tired, that's all. Now, about this afternoon, I, um, I'm going to see a financial advisor in Hotton, just to see if I can clear up a few bits and pieces. Well, you don't have to explain yourself to us. We're just the paying guests. Or not, as the case may be. Tight get. Well, here's to a good morning's work. So does that mean I get a pair, Rice? Oh, they're very nice. Oh. Ladies? I don't get you. You've been banging on about Shelley all morning. Well, nothing wrong in keeping your options open. Besides, I've had it with long-term, Danny boy. I've been there, done that, and come 
come out the other side. No, life is for living. Not for settling down. Life is getting better by the minute. Mine's a large gin and tonic and bring us a menu. You, uh, <coughs> you left this. <laughs> you also left your friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> what are you doing this evening? Nothing. <clears throat> Only I think I could do with another trim. Do you know, I think you could. <laughs> it's looking very cosy up here. So? How's tricks? What sort of question is that? If you're inquiring as to how I am, then the answer is very well, thank you. Good. I am to upset you, have I? And why should you think that? Well, I was a little, let's say, inebriated last night. <laughs> Were you? Can't say I noticed. Look, it wasn't what it looked like. What wasn't? Me and Pearl. It was nothing. It was a one-off. A one-off? Your use of the English language leaves a lot to be desired, Len Reynolds. And why you should feel that you have to explain yourself to me, I really don't know. I mean, what you get up to is your own affair. And on that note, I shall bid you good day. One whiskey. Hey, thank you. So very much. So this is where you are. <laughs> George, you're not going to make much brass if you don't open, you know. I'd almost throw the towel in, and that would have meant you missing out on a right bargain. <laughs> Sorry, I don't follow. The antiques barn. It's been shut for the best part of three hours. On a go slow, are we? Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, uh, so, um, what have you got for me? Six dining chairs. Not a mark on them. Beautiful they are. Interested? Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> hmm. Well, if you ask me, love is definitely in the air. I don't know about love, Betty Eggleton. I think lust is more appropriate. Not a quality to be admired in a man of his age. Well, whatever it is, it puts a smile on Pearl's face. He can say that again. <laughs> I mean, it's Len this, Len that. She never stops. Yes, well, that's their business, isn't it? Can we change the subject now? Right, get the drinks in, Donna. Why me? Because you get them for free, dummy. <laughs> Still no car, then? No, no, just have to rely on you for lifts, won't I? I suggest you get yourself a bus timetable. Well, you wouldn't even have a car if it wasn't for me. So, I pay good money for it. Exactly. So why do you think I want another one? Never had you down as a second-hand car salesman. Yeah, well, every success story has to start somewhere. What about school? Well, that's easy. I leave. So we're doing this afternoon. I thought we could go and uh, I meant me and Robert, actually. <laughs> It's a pity you haven't got a boyfriend. We could make up a foursome. It's the 21st century, Donna. You don't have to have a boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest yeah, in the back. So, how much? Well, uh, let's take a look. How about uh, 800 for the lot? And no nasty paperwork. That's unlike you, George. Well, let's just say they're a real steel. Ah. Let's just say, uh, 600. For all of them? Mm hmm For cash. I'd like to keep things honest. <laughs> you had a drink with Rodney. It's the fact you lied about it. I didn't. You weren't going to tell me, though, were you? Sneak! Well, it's the same thing in my book. Yeah, well, perhaps I knew you'd be like this. I don't think I'm jealous, because I certainly am not. I'm, I'm just surprised at you, that's all. I mean, having my cast-offs. Still, 
Old habits die hard. Can you give me a hand with this? Can't you see I'm doing paperwork? You want a hand? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, I need to get this across to Betty's. Well, can't Stephanie help? No, Stephanie cannot. Anyway, the exercise would do her good. The amount of grub she's been shoveling down her throat. Come on, let me help you. We wouldn't have all this palaver if you'd let us do the hairdressing in here. Come on. You shouldn't let her talk to you like that. Oh, she didn't mean it. Anyway, I should be used to it by now. You all right with that? Yeah, fine. Aren't you getting on all right together? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, not really. She's annoyed because I had a drink with Rodney at his place. Ah, I see. It's not as if I'm treading on her toes. Gordon to her, she can't stick him. He can't win with her. Yes, quite. You're right. <laughs> yoo Stick the kettle on, shall I? <laughs> uh, Alan, are you right? I just need to rest a minute. Oh, you've got a very funny colour. You don't look well. I don't feel it. Um, would you get Marlon for me? I can't leave you like this. No, I'll be fine, really, if you just get Marlon. Right, OK. I can't seem to get my breath. All right, well, just, just, just try and take it easy, yeah? It's gone a very funny time. It certainly has. The ambulance is on its way. How is he? This is breathing. Has he, uh, has he got any chest pains? He says it feels tight, yeah. Oh, it doesn't look too good, does it? It doesn't. My first husband went like that, you know, chest pains. Well, can everybody just, just, just back off? Sorry, back off. Yeah. How are you feeling, sir? Any chest pain? It's easing off now. He, uh, he did have an heart attack a couple of years ago. Yeah, but this, this was nothing like that. What's going on? Oh, Steph, we're not sure. He's got chest pains. Why didn't you come and get me? You have to come all on. I'm sorry. There, there, there's no need for that. It, it, it might just be indigestion. Anyway, I was clearing pots away and I hear this thud. Mm. So I turned round, didn't I? And there he was. Dead as a doornail, just like that. Oh, oh, I love. And him in his prime and all. I don't care what you say, Alan. I'm coming with you. End of discussion. No, I should be the one oh. going with him. Well, I'm his daughter. Well, who's going to look after the B and B? Oh, for heaven's sake, Dad! Don't you think of nothing else? Excuse me, Miss, but this isn't helping your father. Now, who's going with him? Me. Oh, please yourself. They never did have an easy relationship. No. I think you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Just fine. So, what are we going to do then? Fancy going for a drive? Not really. Well, what else are we going to do? <laughs> well, we've lost a venue, haven't we? What venue? Your car. Don't know. Well, we did just go driving in it, you know. Too much detail, Donna. Like I said. You want to get yourself a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Then I hear this thud, don't I? So I turns round. And, and guess what? There he is, dead as a doornail. And in his prime and all. Oh, it's tragic, isn't it? God, terrible. Now, if you don't mind, ladies, I intend on getting drunk. Must be bad if they're taken to hospital. Ah. The routine. Can't be too careful these days. Come on, let's go over you. You can't just ignore her. I'm not ignoring her. I'm just keeping my distance. Oh, dearie me, what is she wearing? Hello, ladies. Well, you're a bit glammed up, aren't you? It doesn't cost anything to make an effort. 
I believe I missed all the drama. Oh, it was touch and go for a minute. It never was touch and go, Betty Eggleton. Well, he wants to shift a bit away, that's all I can say. Anyway, what are you having, ladies? Same again. Ah, uh, you've twisted me arm. I hope she's on the way over. Well, what have I done to deserve this? <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> and how are you today, Leonard? All right. I'm fine, I'm fine, thanks. Oh. Uh, would you like a drink, Bob? Drink? Did you see that? Oh, has that woman got no shame? She set her cap at Len, all right. Mm, it doesn't look as though he's complaining, either. On the contrary. He must like mutton dressed as mutton. Anything? No. You sure? I said so, didn't I? I'll ring the hospital in a short while. What is it with you? You're always trying to muscle in. I mean, first it's Rodney, now it's me dad. I'm just worried about him, that's all. Yeah, well, don't be. What are you doing? I'm looking for his life insurance. Well, that's if he's got any. Life insurance? That's a bit premature, isn't it? All right, I'm having a snoop around. Well, can you blame me the way he's been lately? If anything does happen to him, well, I'm going to be the one that has to sort everything out, and I? No, it was just saying earlier how nice Pearl looked in that outfit. <laughs> but then again, it wouldn't suit everybody. I mean, you've got to have the right figure for it. <laughs> Precisely. What do you think, then, Len, as a man, I mean? Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you. I think I'm in need of the little boy's room. Excuse me. <clears throat> right. Um, who's having another? Oh. <laughs> Not for me, thank you very much. I've had quite enough for one day. Look, wh why don't you all come back to my place, eh? No point in paying pub prices when we can sup home brew for note. <laughs> well, I'm gay. Well, you don't need to ask me twice. Me either. Right, then. What were we waiting for? Oh, uh, what about Len? <laughs> Edna, they'll tell him where you are, won't you? Oh, I suppose so. Oh, no, no, I think that's rotten, leaving him like that. Now, you go ahead, I'll wait for you. Oh, stop arguing, woman. Come on. <laughs> I love it when he's mad at all. I thought Elaine was never going to go. She's going to have to go on sometimes. So are you serious about not going back next term? Mm, don't know. Yeah, maybe. Just an idea, that's all. Well, you know, you could have told me first. Shut up, William. I'm trying to watch this. Well, you know what it'll mean, don't you? It'll mean I'll hardly ever see you. I'm not leaving the country. Yes, I know, but it'll be different, won't it? I mean, I don't see the point in having a boyfriend if I'm never going to see you. Where is everybody? They've gone to Jarvis's shed. They told me to tell you. Oh. Well, I'll just, uh Sit and finish my drink then, eh? Um, well, I can't stop. I've got a million and one things to do, eh? I need to talk to you about last night. There's nothing to talk about as far as I'm concerned. I need to tell you something. Oh, where do I start? I was trying to prove a point. I see. Go on. It's very complicated. Oh, I am worried about you. Are you? Well, of course I am. You've been a very good friend to me, and... I know it's none of my business, but... <sighs> Please don't go and make a fool of yourself. Oh, I thought I'd done that already. Then again, I didn't know you cared. <laughs> Please, give me credit, will you? 
Save your chat-up lines for Pearl. Any news on Alan? Yeah, Marlon phoned, said they're running a few checks. Well, let's hope it's a false alarm, eh? Yeah. Funny, isn't it, how little things get you down and then... Well, something like this happens and... Well, suddenly puts it all into perspective. Yeah, true. Yeah, uh, well, the trick is to enjoy yourself while you're here. Says the wise one. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's true, innit? You've... Go, go for it. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, he's got a point. Yeah, I intend to grow old disgracefully, if ever let me like you. Which know. reminds me, who is going to be the lucky lady tonight? Oh, I don't know. He gets the energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, I'll hold. Is that the hospital? How is he? I don't know, do I? They got me on hold. You look in the right state. That's the understatement of the year, that is. You know, I thought you were being a bit too calm earlier. You know what this is, don't you? This is delayed shock. Delayed shock? It's a lot more than that, sweetheart. This is sheer panic. What's happened? What's happened? I'll tell you what's happened. I read his will. Guess what? I ain't in it, miserable git. You know what that means, don't you? Well, if he cops it, I don't get a brass farthing. Not a bean. Well, I'm not being cut out of his will. If I have to go in there and resuscitate him myself. Now, where's that bleeding operator? 